are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a over, world of trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Big train. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Right, striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? He is going after that overhand right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Plus right hand is true. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Big head kick. Oh! So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh, straight right! Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Unable to connect with the right. Like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Lou. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. And they set. Big ball crush land. Now we get back to ring. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Big knee there. Shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Looking to land the right just out of range. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Beautiful strike. Misses again with a right punch. Oh! Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Throwing that jab, no good. really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Real sneaky body. He gets caught with that punch. Drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big power shot there. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. 20 seconds now remain in the round. upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Second round underway. Oh, that's a nice strike. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Blocks the shot. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Continues to work the body here. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Look at him 
whipped his hip into that kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Just missed with the left there. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, he hurt a bat with a jab. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Both guys appeared to land there. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. This is a great punch. Throws the right hand there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Just missing on the high kick there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Liver kick. How about that shin? Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful punch. Let's go, let's go. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Oh, man. And potentially a critical takedown here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard passes, starts to pile up. Right away, takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Right on the button. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. 
big shot lands. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Leg kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. to the left hand now, unable to connect. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Nice strike. Oh, blocks the shot. it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, a single collar tie here. Nice punch lands over the top. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Oh, great entry as he gets the takedown there. Great entry, great timing, great finish. What a fantastic job by this young man. Lee's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Nice hammer fist. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Straight right, he misses. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Looking for the counter right now, no good. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big body kick. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just unable to quite find that race. Inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Trying to stay in this fight. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back. Quick entry to get Man, on a single. that was a great single. Oh, oh takes him all behind. What a fantastic takedown. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control. The quick big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that big punch over the top. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful. Whoa! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Seconds winding down in round three. Left hand. What a round! 
All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Great punch landed with so much power. jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Real quick leg kick. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big punch land. Just out of range with that right hand. He blocks the punch. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice. Back and forth we go. Single collar tie now. Under three minutes remain in round four. Nice kick. Turns his hip into that leg kick. Good stick. Lands the right hand. Great timing on that move take that. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Under two minutes to go in the round. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
A lot of top pressure being applied here. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Seconds left. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, he, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He's out! Fight. He got it. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. We said it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 10 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.